What's up, everybody? Sensei here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another video. I was getting questions asking me what I eat in a day. So hopefully uh, this will answer some of your questions. But I thought it'd be a really good way just to add a little twist to it. I am heading into Dr. Sari Ramzan's office to have a soft wave therapy session done today. Uh, she's helping me with some of the injuries that I sustained in the accident. And the demo is actually being done by Dr. Marco. And toward the end of the video, you will see some of the food that I ate for the day. And I think that is what I ate within a about an eight-hour period. So thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the video. We are introducing you to the soft wave therapy machine. Mm -hmm. What this does is it finds inflammation and soft tissue stress, and it helps to regenerate it. So um, when we turn this machine on, you're gonna hear an acoustic sound. When we're in different areas of the joint, in areas that are normal, where there's no inflammation, no soft tissue stress, nothing, you're gonna feel absolutely nothing from the machine. But when I hit an area that's inflamed, maybe needs more blood flow, has some soft tissue stress, you're gonna feel what most people are describing as a little hammering. So our goal today is number one, to find the areas of inflammation, treat it with the machine, see if you get results. All right, you don't feel anything, right? So that's normal. So now I'm gonna come down into the ankle. You let me know when you start to feel what feels like a little hammering. Right there, can you handle that? Is the intensity okay? You want me to go lower? It's okay. Okay, good. So this is the top of the ankle, right by the talus. You got some inflammation in there. Now if I go along over here. That part is like really bad. Yeah, and that's right where that hurts you. So you got some inflammation, some soft tissue stress right there. So we're just gonna hold this here for a couple seconds and we're just gonna move it around. Now if you just wanna lie your head back and just relax. Just enjoy the show. Okay, let me know when you start to feel that little hammer. Yeah, Right there, yeah. right where I told you. Yeah, right Very there. common in that carpal tunnel area. Eight to three, that's more than 50%. I told you you're gonna be in between 20 and 50, so you're an overachiever. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Awesome, walk around, see if it helps you. So when was the last time you felt like that? Uh, it, it does feel better though, a little bit better. Good, yeah. it's meant to. Yeah. All right, so when it comes to the lower back, Dr. Sorry, mm -hmm. we start on the sacral plexus. So there's, we go to both SI joints up top, SI joints on the lower part, and then the middle right by the sacrum. And then we kind of work our way out to the hips and up the lumbar spine. But typically they feel most of it in the SI joints and maybe sometimes in the glutes. I'm gonna start at a nine. Oh, you don't feel anything? You just hear that sound? Yeah. Yeah, good. So let me know when you start to feel a little hammer in you. There we go. Right there? Yeah. How are we, can you handle that? Yeah, I can handle it. Yeah. How about if I come out to the glute over here? Oh yeah. Yeah? Like more than the SI joint? Uh, about the same, maybe okay. a little bit more intense. How about if we go on this side? Not as bad? Right there, yep. Okay. How about if I come through this one? Right yeah. Is this left glue more than the right or about the same? It's more. Okay. How about if I come up the spine on the side here? Spine is good. Good, how about on the spine here? On the spine is good. And how about on this side? That's good. Okay, so lumbar spine looks pretty good, so we're just going to stay in the 
down. Yep. I'm going to go a little deeper. You might feel it a little bit more. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. My yeah. caps are still there. Yeah. Good. We're going to stay. Oh, yeah. So we're going to stay in these regions. I'm definitely still there. Yeah, right. I'm still going down into the hip. You're feeling it go into the hip? Yeah. Okay. If I go into the hip with the machine, do you feel it? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We're going to stay in these areas. Good. And then we're going to go back into this side joint. Oh, yeah. We're going to come on to this side again. And then we're going to go back to the hip over here. Do you feel it? Mm -hmm. The same as earlier, or is it getting a little bit better? It's getting a little better. Good. That means that inflammation is coming down. Where's the most that you feel with the machine? Is it this hip? Or is it... With the hip and then those SI, those SI joints as well. Both of them? Yeah, that's that right, right there. there. Yeah, so right stay there. right here. Yeah, I really feel it right like there. Okay. Okay. You made it through your first treatment session. Woohoo! Let's clean you up. And then I'm going to ask you the same exact question. When you get up, I want you to tell me if you feel the any change from when you walked in this door. You can maybe try to find that trigger point, move the body the way you were before. Uh -huh. I want to see that first impression. <laughs> How's that feel? Good, actually. Okay, we like that. Can you find that trigger? working to find it. If when I pushed up a little bit, I could feel it, but it's not as intense. Not as intense. It's not as intense. Good. It's not as intense. That's what we want to hear. It's not as intense. Good. Yeah. Do you feel any relief? Not that I 100% expected in the near the ankle. No. No. That's no. still there. No, that's because yeah, that's, that's, that's more localized. Yeah. Sometimes if we do lower back stuff, we can feel um, change in the legs. Like I can feel, well, right now I feel like more like, like, right there. like tightness. Cut. Tightness, like less, right less pain, just more little tightness. Little tight. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. That's improvement, I think. Oh, yeah. If it's, I mean, you can definitely feel a difference. Good. Marco, how long does it last? All day? I mean, so after you do it? Everybody's different. I like to say that depending on the person, it could last for a couple of hours to a couple of days. Okay. Most people within the next day or so will come back, um, but everybody heals differently. I have had people, I don't like to say it a lot, mm -hmm. I have had people get multiple days, like three, four, mm -hmm. but some people, I would say get a day or so. That's probably the average. But that's why we try to get you back in within the next like three to four days. So like if you were to do another treatment session, I would recommend like Monday or Tuesday to get you in uh, another session to con continue that healing. So we can be ahead of when it comes back. All right, walk around. How's that feel? Different? Yeah, it does. I'm not gonna say I'm like cured, cured. Oh, but it's like. Cured. Yeah, <laughs> but even like the press on it, it's, it feels better. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's like because it was real tender in here before. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, a lot of people describe after the knee that they feel lighter, like there's, like they can move it better. Wow. Yeah, I can, I can actually see after a certain amount of time, even 
and three minutes it was it would definitely make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would recommend uh, I treat each each joint as like a six second six session treatment. Sorry, no, you're good. <laughs>